So I'm back here in Act 3, this time to talk about perilous stakes. Invest a creature, a creature, not an ally, not an enemy, a creature with power that heals it when it attacks, but also makes it vulnerable to all damage. So we've put that on the Steel Watcher. So the Steel Watcher might actually heal a bit. And it is per enemy hit, but we should now be able to do... Decent amounts of damage against it. Let's have a look. Look at that. Times two for everything. Although in the damage roll, it wasn't doubled. It's a little bit worrying. But it has at least got rid of the resistances it had. So, Shadowheart, what can you do? Ooh, yes. Lovely bit of double damage there. So let's get an extra weapon out, extra attack out. And it can't do anything about it. Obviously, it's maybe not the best against the Steel Watcher because it has like AoE attacks, which then means... Oh, I'm mobile. Let's do this. Which then means it gets healing on every enemy hit. But if you can target it... So let's just try this. In fact, let's just upcast it. <laughs> yeah, and it's doubled. I would say this Perilous Stakes is stronger than it might seem. At first you might think, oh, it's not much healing. What you can also do out of combat is make sure you're somewhere safe and you want a bit of extra healing. Bear in mind, this is only once per long rest. So let's cast it on Minsk. And now... Good old Minsk. I'm in turn-based mode. Let's attack a stool. Ah, some healing. Let's attack the campfire. That's invulnerable. Healing. Offhand attack. Healing. Now, bear in mind, this only lasts for three turns, so you're not going to get a huge amount of healing. But if you don't think you're going to use it or you're desperately in need of some healing and don't want to use a consumable or a spell slot, but you don't think you're going to use this, you don't have a boss fight coming up or something, just go ahead. Just do this. And I'd say outside of turn-based mode, it's probably quicker because you actually attack much faster than you would do in turn-based mode. So you can actually fully, or likely fully, heal someone up to full health. There we are. Look at that. All good. Right, let me know if you think that's been useful. Thank you if you made it this far. Please do consider subscribing. Thank you to all the members of my channel. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.